Now we start to get a little more complicated. To draw the Lewis structure of a cation, we have to first recognize the positive charge. That positive charge means that it's missing one electron from the molecule. Because electrons are negatively charged, it makes sense that it's positive because one electron is gone, so you have one less negative charge, making it positive. So we're going to do the same math. We only have one carbon. We have one nitrogen. We have six hydrogens. Nitrogen is a group five element, meaning it should have five electrons. And the positive charge means we're missing one electron. So minus one. So totaling up, we're only going to have 14 electrons to use. Should be 15 if that positive charge wasn't there. But that means we're missing an electron. Otherwise, we do the exact same thing. We're going to draw our base in. Each carbon and the nitrogen have three hydrogens around it. Each hydrogen has two electrons. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We've used twelve. We only have two electrons to go. The carbon and the nitrogen have to be connected somehow. There. That's it. Now we're going to go on to a little more tricky example. So here is our carbonate ion. We're going to do the same math, but this time we have to recognize there's a negative two charge. Well, a negative two charge means that there's two extra electrons in this molecule. And that makes sense, because electrons are negatively charged. So a negatively two charged molecule will have two extra electrons. And that just factors in when we do our math. We have one carbon. Oxygens are a group six element, which means they only have six valence electrons. Add in the two electrons. totaling 24 usable electrons in this molecule. Now, this one is a little trickier to draw out, but you have the central carbon and you have three oxygens surrounding it. So we've drawn out our base skeleton. Now, what I like to do, they have to be connected somehow. So we know that each oxygen has at least one shared pair of electrons. So let's do some math. I have 18 electrons to go. So let's just start filling one in. I'm going to make oxygen have 8. So I've just used 6. So we're down to 12 electrons. I'm going to do that one more time. So now we're down to 6 electrons. Well, what do we know? We know this octet rule is satisfied for this oxygen. We know the octet rule is satisfied for this oxygen. The carbon still needs one more, and the oxygen needs to be satisfied. So to do this, you're going to have to do a double bond, and then add in two more. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the carbon, and now the oxygen has two, four, six, eight. We've used our 24 electrons, octet rules are satisfied, now we just have to draw in our negatively charged atoms, and we're good.